Hey, welcome to News and Infusion. We are back, and today we're going to talk about it's not so bad living in your van, babies for Bernie Sanders, and a four-year-old's birthday party that will blow your mind. Everyone's going crazy about the Google software engineer who's living in Google's parking lot. This is nothing new. Employees have been living in the parking lots of their jobs for many years. They do it in New York, they do it everywhere. Now here in San Francisco, the 23-year-old employee who does not want to be identified is a graduate of the University of Massachusetts. He got the job two years ago. He said, I had a two-bedroom home with three roommates and I was still paying $2,000 a month. And you had to deal with people eating the food out of your refrigerator, not replacing the toilet paper, Sneaking some underwear out of your drawer and looking at your girlfriend's thighs while you guys are watching movies. You got Chinese takeout, you took her back, you got two beers, you try to drink when he keeps looking at her thighs and that's just me, that's, that's, I guess that's my situation, sorry. So this employee, who we will call Brandon, spent $10,000 on a 2006 E350 Ford big old van. Put a bed in it, put a dresser in it. He doesn't need to take a shower, he does that in Google. He doesn't need to eat, Google feeds you. He doesn't need electricity, he can charge his stuff in Google. Brandon said he also has a 24-hour access key to the Google building. Just sleep in the building. Brandon also had a truck warming party for his closest friends. Gotta be two of them. That's all you can fit in there. At least Brandon can watch movies with his girlfriend and not have to worry about his roommate looking at her skirt and her leg and her feet. He had a foot fetish too. He kept looking at my girlfriend. That's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At least Brandon doesn't work at Walmart. Have you seen that parking lot at nighttime? A lot of missing teeth, Jack Daniels bottles. Mud wrestling, dosey doing. That's it, Brandon. Live in that truck. Forget the haters. Save that money. And if the van is a rocking, he's probably stuck. You're gonna have to help him out, somebody. And now for your late breaking Bill Cosby news. Actor Kenan Thompson from Saturday Night Live was told by Mr. Bill Cosby that you're gonna need to grow two beeps to handle all these women in Hollywood. Now this is why they were filming the Fat Albert movie. He said you're gonna need to grow two beeps. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. People are always asking, what's the hottest trend? What's the newest thing for this Halloween? Guess what it is? Dressing your baby up like Bernie Sanders. So basically, Mr. Magoo, you remember Mr. Magoo. What you do is take a bald baby, take some cotton, stretch it out, put it over the little bald head, put some glasses on, put a little Bengay on him, and you got Bernie Sanders. Now, if you have two kids, let one dress up like Bernie Sanders and have one dress up like Hillary Clinton and have them just go at it. <laughs> and here are some other cute Halloween costume ideas for your little ones. Now this is a funny story. A four-year-old girl from Arkansas wanted a CVS-themed birthday party, so her mom transformed the local park into a CVS drugstore. You better watch out for the crazies. Man, I know CVS had an outdoor store. You guys got any Vicodin? Or some, or some Robitussin or something? One store theme party you don't want to have is a Target store theme party next to a gun range. Get it, Target? I thought it was funny. As you can see from the picture, this is one cute little girl, and the mom spared no expense. She had checkout stands, registers, shopping carts. I wonder if they had a pharmacy. Now for the adults that attended the party, they received beverages in CVS themed glasses with vodka cranberry splashes, and they also got mints in prescription bottles. Just make sure those are mints in those prescription bottles. Now I would love to see what the party goodie bags looked like. Hey honey, I was up all night getting the goodie bags ready for the kids, you know. Yeah, I got the, some probiotics, you know, for the immune system, you know. Uh, I got some razors, you know, you never know, some razors, you know. Got some nose hair trimmers too. You know, these are, these are real, these are real good. They, you get those little, you can't pull them, it gets in there deep. These are deep ones, they'll like these, right? And house shoes, what kid doesn't want house shoes to walk around the house, keep your feet clean, house shoes, yeah, yeah. Hemorrhoid ointment, honey, yeah. I, I had to open this one. I, you know, I ran out of mine, I told you that, right? So I just had to use a little. Just, no one will know. Just stick it back in there, nobody will know. 
can't forget the tampons. You gotta have these, because if you don't have these, you're looking to be in some trouble, okay? You're gonna be stuck. So these are always great to use. Tampons, oh, and if the tampons aren't working, there might be a problem. So I got some pregnancy tests. Yeah, I got one for every single kid here. Cause you never know, this is gonna get us a surprise. <laughs> this is the kids, they can use this whenever, you know. I did a good job, baby. <laughs> I know, I know the kids are four, but it's CVS. and nothing else they have there. I, I, I can't blame you for trying. I, well. Thank you for sticking in there, and I apologize for not having a video last week. There was too much stuff going on. I did some photo shoot stuff in San Francisco, had some meetings in L.A., did a comedy show in L.A. There's not enough time in the day. But guess what? Stay tuned because bloopers are coming. But please, 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 go to our channel, subscribe to us, and we will be here again, I promise you, next week. We're not skipping. Next week for another episode of News Infused. Tampons? You got... Tampons? You got... It. This is nothing... <laughs> Carts, registers... Da, 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 da. What else? What else? What else? What else? Now this is a now this is a funny story. Now this is a funny story. <clears throat> now this is a funny story. Now this is a funny story. Shopping cars. How can I not get this right? Ah! And then ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna talk about Who keeps calling my phone? Can't forget the tampons.